Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here coming out to the video on how to sex your convict cichlids and how to tell the genders of them when you're looking to breed them. Uh, so right here I got my male and female pair. Uh, the one right there in the cave right now is my female. Now a lot of people say that when it comes to the male and females that the males are going to have a long pointed dorsal and anal fin and the females are going to be more rounded. Well as you can see right there, my female, she has pointed dorsal and an anal fin uh, for the top and bottom fins. And they say that sometimes the males are going to be a little bit more colorful, uh, a little bit more darker, but it's not always the case as well. Because right there my female has a nice shimmer of blue and green and yellow to her, uh, and my male is kind of just an average run of the mill convict. So there are exceptions to each rule. The next thing is that I go with that's about 95% effective is the females will have a orange or red uh, tint on their belly. And that's about, like I said, about a 95% surefire way to do it. Uh, that's what's worked for me. I have three tanks out of four right now with babies or eggs. Uh, so if you look for that bright, you know, red belly or orange belly, when the females are ready to breed, that breeding color comes right out. So here's my other female, as you can see, with a nice shimmer of like orange and yellows and greens to her, but she's also got that orange belly. But if you also look at the top and bottom fins, they're pointed as well. So like I said, that pointed fin isn't always a surefire way of telling. Now if you want to pick a convict cichlid that's real easy to tell if it's male or female, then you go with the white or calicos because as you can see right there, the red pigment is very, very flashy. It shows itself real well. There's definitely no mistaking that it's a female. I'm that of my boy right there. He's got the nice long pointed fins. He's got a little bit of a, a hump on the head, so it's sometimes another way to tell, even though sometimes your females can do it. Um, but yeah, right there is pretty much a grade A specimen for female. Like I said, the bright red orange belly. That is what I'm working with to hopefully, like I said, to create my super red convict cichlid. Here's my other pair right here. Male and female, of course, they're not gonna come out. Uh, they've got a nest inside of there, but there's my female. Like I said, you can tell the orange belly. My male right here course being the aggressor. Uh, my female right here, like I said, my female right here has a nice orange shimmer to her belly, but she also has long pointed fins. Here's my male right here, as you can see his anal and dorsal fins extend past his back fin. Uh, like I said, he's definitely a male. He's got a little bit of hump on the head. Like I said, it's not always a surefire way, but that kind of helps me reassure that they are a male and a female. But these guys have had eggs a couple of times. Uh, so we'll kind of see where that comes and goes uh, for them. They might be getting a little frustrated so it might be time to separate them. But that's how you sex them. Like I said, pretty much an orange belly for a female. That's pretty a good, good way to do it. I mean, if they don't have an orange belly or don't develop an orange belly over time, it's most likely a male, especially with the long... Uh, pointed fins that if it has a hump on the head like I said those aren't surefire but it's definitely a way to start telling uh, but definitely if it's a female it has that nice orange belly like I said if you're really not sure just get the the white of the calicos and they're really easy to tell you know what's male what's female just by that and once you get the male and female this is what you get hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of little babies these guys are super crazy uh, when it comes to parenting, they're some of the best parents I've seen in the cichlid world. Uh, so you definitely have nothing to fear except for the other lives of your other fish in the tank because pretty much everybody is fair game at that point.